lot of the stories were pulled from real, the funniest things in the movie, like all the all 13 guys sleeping together, like pretty much spooning in one bed. Um, like those were from stories from real life immigrants. So we took real life, and they wanted to take part, and so um, it's pretty, it's fun. Are you in one of those scenes where you all piled into the same room? Oh yes, I am. And if you're here for the talk back afterwards, I will explain in detail how we were in an unair conditioned room with 13 guys very close together, very, very, very close quarters, as you can see from the photos. Are you a fan of the 70s outfits? Uh, I think half my wardrobe is my own wardrobe. I was so excited to do this, because I, high school I was obsessed with the 70s. My music, my clothes, college was just wearing bell bottoms and polyester. I don't know why, but I was just obsessed with it. So I was like, hey guys, look, it was a little tighter. But you know, that's kind of how they wore it back then, so it all worked. John and I bonded on that, because in high school and in college, we, I'd go thrifting all the time to get like 70s clothes, and it's good dancing clothes. You look good when you're dancing, yeah. you know, like in high-waisted pants. Everybody and, knows about dancing, it's you and John. We love to dance, love to dance, and I love the 70s clothes. How much of it was Danny's acting, and how much of it was the fact that he could ride a moped? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of both. We sent him in India driving a moped into the middle of like this village and there's trucks coming at him with three people balancing a moped. So um, that was all Danny and figuring out how well he can deal with that. Well, I told her right away when I met with her that, um, you know I have a Vespa, right? Because I'm a, I am really love mopeds. Um, and I think that was, that was helpful in the casting process, <laughs> especially when you're going to ride a moped in Mumbai through a working market. Um, it's quite hazardous, but super exciting. All the reactions are very real. What's your favorite part of Indian culture? Oh my gosh, the food? I mean, I've never been to India. I would love to go. I think, uh, the f I, I love Indian food. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, culture-wise. They could cut up a rug. Did you maybe a little dance-off? Or... I love that they dance in the streets. I mean, at least in the film, that's how they portrayed. Oh, little villages, everybody just breaks out in song and dance. I would be down with that. If our town just started dancing, although if it was a flash mob, I would be like, no, count me out. I want to do my own solo dance. we got to hang on to some stuff from where we began, right? Yeah, we've been going all across the country, and whether it's Texas, some other place, people are telling us, like, oh, you know, that reminds me of my parents who came from Ireland. It reminds me of my parents who did this, and so it's been really nice. Even Danny's parents, people don't know that, but his mom is Polish. And so he has such a mixed background, and we sort of all do, so it's been really nice. It's an immigrant story, you know. Coming here, people who see all this greatness in America, and they come, and they want to live the American dream. And But, you know, reality always hits people in the face, and... It's what our main character has to deal with. My mom and dad came here in the 1970s. They came to Canada in the 1970s to, to build a better life for us, you know? And so this story really spoke to me. It's very interesting now with the new political climate how this has all become very important again. And I think it's, it, it is so topical right now to realize that this is these people have been here even before the 1970s. Uh, this movie takes place in 97, but people have come here before, and just the sacrifices that they made to, to, for this country and to be here and uh, to make a better life for themselves. So I think it's a very important, uh, important time for this movie to be here.